Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions of everything that came in this month's BoxyCharm box. So this would be BoxyCharm for January. As you guys are watching this, if you do want to sign up, I do have a link in the bottom box down below. It is an affiliate link. I do earn a very small commission off of your BoxyCharm subscriptions. If you don't want to use that link, don't do it. No pressure. Just head to BoxyCharm.com. Ooh, looks like we got a lot of good stuff in this box. So anyway, sorry I look like a mess. I was about to do my makeup for this video, and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? What if there's skincare or blush or foundation or concealer in the box? I don't want to have a face full of makeup. That's stupid. Anyway, let's just get into this. We're going to try everything on today. Oh, there's only one thing I see that we cannot try on, but lucky for you guys, I know that I love it. The first thing that I see is by Brie Ogio. I love this brand. My best friends love this brand. We're all super hooked on this brand. It's a hair product line. This is the Rosarco Milk. It's a leave-in conditioning spray. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I, I've gotten this before, and I don't know if it was in a BoxyCharm or a different subscription box, but I did get this before. I loved it, and I ended up buying two bottles of it, and then I just started trying other things, but I know that I love this so very much. It smells beautiful. Like, not like old lady rose. It smells like expensive rose, and I love that scent. So it's just a great leave-in conditioner. It's very milky, and this actually retails for $12, so really good value there. I think I see some skincare down here oh my gosh it's Tasha oh my gosh we got Tasha skincare in the boxy charm that's crazy this is high end where's my moisturizer I don't know where it is the only thing I have from Tasha is the water moisturizer that everyone's obsessed with it really is so very good I hardly use it because I never want to run out of it so I'm really excited to try this little sheet mask so this says it is for luminous dewy skin oh it's made in Japan I should have known that but I didn't we did get two in here and these retail for $24 you guys so let's go ahead and give it a go I like to kind of squish mine around in the bag so that it you know gets all into the mask it uses a blend of lightweight rice germ oil what is that derived from the most nutrient rich portions of rice and a high concentration of botanical oils and extract and Tatcha uses like a specific like a recipe of ingredients that kind of gives them their signature you know little concoction which is green tea rice and algae so those are kind of their main ingredients we're gonna give this a go it says to leave on for 15 minutes you guys know how these work it's just a little sheet mask but we're gonna give it a go I'm so excited because honestly this is probably oh it's like creamy it's like milky if you can see on the top rim here it's like milky and white it's not clear like a serum I wonder if that's because of the rice music makes the people come together oh man why didn't I put my hair up for this I'm also breaking out like crazy right now because of stress gosh I look insane it's been a very stressful wedding planning week for me there's so much serum in here still when you take yours out don't like lay it down. oh my god it's stripping everywhere oh my goodness it's stripping everywhere okay this is super soaked oh my gosh what am I to do so far this is a little messy but if it's good I don't mind the mess anyway I'm breaking out because I'm stressed out I'm having the world's most difficult time finding a makeup artist for my wedding and I think it's coming to the point where I will be doing not only my makeup but my entire bridal party's makeup I don't want that to be the case but that's how it's looking so far okay hi <laughs> oh I always hate how cold these are when you put them on your face don't you hate that I don't like cold things on my face even cold eye creams like I hate it oh my god oh my goodness uh-huh so right off the bat I'll tell you I love how thick this sheet is a lot of times they're like a little not all the time but certain brands that I've tried are the majority are usually a lot thinner and they are um, kind of more sheer. Oh my god, I look insane. So anyway, let's try and get this to fit on the face. It smells lovely. Not like fragranced, but just like a refreshing light smell. <laughs> Okay, she's on looking fierce. Do I like not even look like me? Like I know I have a mask on but this just is kind of terrifying me. I'm like who is that? I wonder if it's because it's more milky than serum-y. It's kind of having a hard time sticking to the face. It's like moving a lot. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna it says leave this on for 15 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for 15 minutes. It keeps popping off. Do you guys see that? I don't love that. Um, leave it on for 15 minutes and I'll be right back. Hi! <laughs> okay, I'm back. So I don't know if you can tell. I'm sure you, it's like hardly sticking on my face. That's pretty annoying. Um, it just keeps wanting to slide down. I almost feel like the sheet itself is too heavy for your face and the serum though It feels wonderful and my face feels really nice I don't know that it's sticky enough to keep it on your face. So the whole time it's just been wanting to fall off So let's now remove this. 
I can tell my skin absorbed it wonderfully. Like this was dripping with that serum stuff. And now it's like, it's like dried out. Oh, it feels great though. So you know what though? It's kind of a pain in the booty to keep on the face. I love how it feels. It feels really, really nice. Oh yeah, my skin feels great. So cool. So there's no concealer, foundation, primer, nothing like that in this box. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup and then I'll be back because we have some brow stuff, we have some eye products and we have a lip color. So let me go put on my face makeup and I'll be right back. Hello, it's me again, I'm back. So next in our BoxyCharm box, we do have a brow pencil. We're gonna be trying this out. This is by BDB. It's their Billion Dollar Brows. Or maybe that they just do brows if it's called Billion Dollar Brows. I'm an idiot. The brand is called Billion Dollar Brows. It's a universal brow pencil. That's interesting. I was like, oh my gosh, how are they gonna get everyone the right brow pencil shade? But it's universal. This is $18. It's self-sharpening. It's automatic. It's supposed to glide really well without tugging. By the way, I don't have concealer on under my eyes because I'm testing a new concealer today that is self setting what like requires no setting powder and I'm like how I don't even believe you so I'm gonna do this video do my eye makeup all that and then I'm going to start filming that concealer video so stay tuned for that this week um, I love that it has a spoolie always necessary now good it's soft enough I hate yeah that feels nice I really dislike when brow pencils have a really hard like scratchy like irritating brow spoolie but this one feels nice. Okay, I've had some in the past that were like sharp and it's like, why? So this is supposed to be universal for everyone. I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling in my brows. Okay, it's definitely more warm. It is very creamy. So I tend to just, it's a little waxy almost. Like it might be just a little more creamy than I usually prefer. So I always do like a thick line underneath of my brow and then I'll spoolie that up and try to smudge that product into the front of my brow because I want that to look the most natural on the brow. I don't want that one to be super, super opaque and super, um, you know, colored in. You just kind of want it to look like tinted hair there, I guess. Just a little shading and then spoolie back. It spreads really nicely, I'll say that much, but that also makes me wonder if it's a little too creamy, I'm not sure. One more layer and I really like to build up my back tails because they are so sparse and I'll just do a small line, really thin at the top of my brow and then a few little strokes in the front and now spoolie that through. For a quick brow, it's, it's working great. I really don't have many complaints. I just worry it's a little too creamy for my preference. I like a kind of a drier pencil to be honest and I'm not sure why. That's just kind of my preference. When they're a little creamy I worry about them moving and smudging throughout the day. The color looks really nice for me. Honestly I don't see how this could be universal. It looks pretty brunette in my opinion. I don't know if they have different shades of the universal brow pencil. Maybe they do have a brunette and a blonde and a taupe and a you know redhead one. To me it just looks brunette. It is very creamy. I think a little on the too creamy side for me. Okay, I'm just gonna clean it up with a bit of concealer real quick as you do. It looks pretty good. It looks fine. It looks good. I really have no complaints thus far. I think it's something I'm gonna have to use and monitor throughout the night tonight, which I actually will be because I'm doing a wear test today on a concealer. Again, my only concern is that it's a little too creamy. Like it's super, super buttery. As you can see, like it is so buttery. Like it's just really, really, really creamy. For some of you, that might be exactly what you're looking for. For me, I just prefer something a little more stiff because I know it's not gonna go anywhere. So that is that on that, if you know what I'm saying. Let me do my other brow and we'll move on to the eyeshadow palette. So just real quick, following up on the brow pencil, it does look really good, it does. It is $18, I don't know why for me, I, I kind of would like to maybe see it at 16. It's really creamy, I can tell you're gonna go through it super, super fast. Another thing I wanted to say is I kind of just rubbed my arm to get that swatch off, it rubbed right off. I applied a little swatch on my hand, I wanna leave it there for the rest of the video and see if it sets in and if it doesn't smudge. Because if it doesn't smudge and it stays on really nicely, then fine, $18 is a fair price, but if it smudges away, I'm thinking $18 is too much. So of course, you know, the ABH pencils, what, $21? And I think even the Benefit pencil, which is my favorite, is like $24. So it definitely is more affordable. I don't know that it's earned the $18 price just yet. We'll see. Okay, so I popped a little concealer on my lid, which is now creasing. This was not the creaseless concealer that I'm trying today. Next, we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette. So this is actually from Tarte Cosmetics. It is the Rainforest of the Sea Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1. This retails for $36. Tarte. No, honey. I love Tarte shadows, do not get me wrong, and I do really like Tarte's makeup. The packaging, gorgeous. I love that it's really small and sleek, so it's nice for travel. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Love the ginormous mirror in here. The shadows are 
not my favorite. Let me start by saying I do typically prefer more warm shadows. I'm not a really cool toned kind of girl. However, I know there's an overwhelming amount of people out there who really are wanting more cool toned eyeshadow palettes. So this might be for you. Despite whether it's warm or whether it's cool, the one thing I will say that really drives me crazy is that it's all shimmers. You really only have two shades on this side right here that look like, though they might not be a straight shimmer, I do believe they're a satin. They're definitely not a matte. I don't know how many looks you would get out of nothing but shimmer shades. Do you know what I mean? And I imagine that's why it's in BoxyCharm. I imagine it's not a top selling eyeshadow palette for Tarte. So it's awesome we got a $36 palette in this, you know, more affordable subscription box. However, would I buy this if I was in an Ulta? No, absolutely not. So right off the bat, I'm gonna go into arguably the only shade in here that would kind of work as a transition tone. It's kind of like a taupey light brown. And I'm going to work that into the crease with a little blending brush. This is the E40 from Sigma. And I just wanna really drive this home, you guys. I hope I don't offend you with my opinions on the palette because for all I know, this might be exactly what you're looking for and that is totally fine. And I'm happy there's something that exists that you are looking for. I'm only speaking on my preferences and this just would not be it for me. Is it there? It's kind of there. It's not a real deep color or not super rich in any way. So it's a very mild shadow. I can't tell if it's not pigmented or if this is just what it's supposed to look like. I think this is what it's just supposed to look like. Next, I want to go into, I don't even know what to do. I'm going to take this kind of more taupey burgundy type of shade here. And let's pop that in the crease with a blending brush. That's more pigmented, that's cute. It's got a nice little bronzy element to it. A shade like this I would love all over the lid, but I'm trying not to take like the easy route and do like a really easy one shadow look, which tends to be my favorite look to do, but I wanna really test this little guy here. You can see it is definitely shimmery, so typically not everyone loves putting a shimmer shadow in the crease, but I see Tati do it a lot and I love her makeup always, so she kind of pushes me, I mean, she doesn't know she does this. <laughs> Her videos push me to, you know, try makeup in different ways. Definitely more smoky. And it is more warm than I was expecting. I do really like this color. And then from there, I'm going to take some of this kind of taupey golden shade up here. Or what is that even? And I'm just going to pop that in the center of my lid. They are pigmented and they work really well with your finger, which is nice. That's kind of cute, isn't it? And then I just want to take some of that light creamy shade and work that on the brow bone as our highlight color. It's pretty, I just wish there was another transition shade, something a little deeper, something a little more rich that I could use through this transition point here. But luckily that burgundy shade does kind of blend out rather nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and we will be back to finish up. All right, so mascara's on, concealer's on, shadow is done. I applied a little liquid liner. All in all, I would never pay $36 for this palette. I honestly would probably not buy it myself. I love the look, I really do. It came out a lot better than I thought it would, but just overall, I wouldn't, this doesn't grab me for $36. Now that's just my preference. That's my preference in tone, in, you know, formula, in shade range. It's not my favorite aesthetically, However, I could do a beautiful look with it and it was fine. So that's my thoughts on that. The very last thing we have here is a lip color. This is, oh, this is by Ofra. Oh, Ofra, new packaging, looking real cute. It's a long lasting liquid lipstick in the shade, what is this? Where's the shade name? Oh, Miami Fever, I've had this. I love this color. I don't know that I love it in January. I think I love it in fall or even in summer. Something about wearing it in January I don't love. I have this in their old packaging. It is a fantastic color. It is so beautiful. And I really do love Ofra's lip color formula. Um, Yeah, I already knew that I love this. So would I buy this? Absolutely. I love that it comes in the box charm this month because if you haven't tried it now you can try it it's fantastic this does retail for $20 so you guys we got a great value in this month's BoxyCharm we got the $36 uh Tarte eyeshadow palette we have the Ofra lip we had the Tatcha mask which was I don't love it but I, I love the serum in it I don't love the mask itself it was a little too heavy and it was like sliding down the face so I didn't love that but love Tatcha it's a super high-end brand so that's really exciting to see that in BoxyCharm we also
also got the Briogeo leave-in conditioner, which I know I love. I know I'm a huge fan of, so I love that. And then we have the brow pencil, which let me tell you, not, not impressed, not impressed in the slightest bit. Of course, they still look good on my face. They still feel a little creamy, but look at the swatch. I showed you guys not too long ago, I swatched it on my hand and I left it alone. I didn't touch it. I was just waiting to see what happens. And you can see it has been fading throughout the video. This is without me touching it. This is what it's just ended up at. Um, so let's go ahead and rub it. Yeah, it fades. It definitely smudges and it definitely fades. So I would not buy that one personally. I would not pay $18 for it. I might maybe pay 12, but no, I will not reach for that every day because I need my brows to stay. I, they can't be too creamy. So that is it for this month's BoxyCharm. You guys, let me know your thoughts. If you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, it's an awesome monthly subscription. I will link that down below for you guys. Again, it is an affiliate link. So if you don't want to use that, just head to BoxyCharm.com and you can sign up there. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. By the way, I'm currently trying the creaseless self-setting under eye concealer and I'm like, what is going on? I have so much to say about that. Stay tuned for that video this week. I love you guys and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.